going to do. So make sure to download this Mirror Me app and play along either on a different device or split screen on your phone. Let's get into it though. This makeup look is one that came from my favorite makeup artist, Lori Hogg, who is a Mary Kay collaborator and has been for a lot of years. And it is going to be, I've got it packed in my, oops, in my palette here. Um, we're doing all new lighting setup. We're doing all new camera setup, camera angles, and you can see I'm blurred out behind me so that um, I don't disappear into the fake living room. But this is my little office closet thing. If you've been to the condo or if you've seen the tour, it's got closets on either sides with mirrored tiles. It's got pretty good light and a desk. And this is where most of the content is going to be taking place while we live here at the condo. So back to the look, back to all of these things. So I've got several blushes in here. We're going to use both of these Coralie blushes. And we're going to use these eyeshadow colors. Crystalline and Hazelnut is what I've got on right now. And then Golden Copper Blush is what I've got on my cheeks right now for just a really easy basic look. So let's get into it. Now, the other thing that you can do, well, okay, so back to waterproof. Our waterproof lip liners are available. You can take those. You can dry in your corners. You can fill in your lip. You can create coats. Um, I also love, I'm also suggesting that you skip black and gray eyeliner this summer and try something different. I'm wearing the brown eyeliner and I have been loving that. I had my colors done by um, embracing your essence this time last year and got a little bit more energetically aligned with the right kind of colors for me. And it really helped me to do my makeup a little bit differently. And it was essentially for me, it was like a make under because I was wearing a little bit too much makeup. I was a little too bold. I was a little bit in too many directions. And not that you can ever be too much because that is a thing. But for what I was trying to achieve, um, it was just not serving me. So you're going to, you can do waterproof mascara. You can do setting spray, you can do waterproof liners, lipstick, or lip and eyeliners. And then of course, I love these liquid eyeshadows. And I just, I had to wait to do this video until I had a new one because I have run out. This one is called Light Beam. Let's flip that over. Light Beam. And there are four liquid colors that you can use that have primer and eyeshadow built into them. So I am going to just add to what I've got because the look that Lori, my makeup artist, demoed, she had light beam. And so my eyeshadow was already on, but you can see how that really um, gives a lot of high definition. And I apply it with the applicator, but I'm going to just blend it out a little bit. Everything always goes better with a brush. It's like making, you know, when you're camping, if you can't find a butter knife, you can use just about anything to make a sandwich or to flip your eggs or make pancakes with, but it always works better if you get the right tools. All right, so we've got our waterproof. We've got our light beam in there. Okay, so next thing is we're going to go, we're going to use these Coralie blushes to be part of our eyeshadow look. Um, I've done some looks like this before and they were really graphic and really beautiful. If you go back on miradunic.com or on my YouTube channel and look for spring 2023, there's some tutorials for that. Um, I can't remember what the look was called now. I'll have to find it and repost it. So I'm going to start with my Juicy Peach, which is the lighter, peachier tone. And I'm going to use that as my, I use my Light Beam as my first color. I'm going to use this as my mid-tone. Now this is going to be a multi-step look. So if you're like, girl, those are too many, that's too many products. I can definitely recommend um, a pared down version of this for you because this not only color wise, um, but also step wise, just maybe more than you're wanting to take. Now I'm using the same brush for everything. 
ideally you want to do different brushes. Um, and now I'm going into my hot coral on for my V. I love this color. It is, I mean, when this came out, I was like, fire or hunter safety orange sign me up. You can see just how beautiful that is. It's very, very, it, this is going to go great into the fall as well, which is great. This is so much like that beautiful warm hues palette we had a couple of years ago. And I believe those are still available. I'll let you know if you can still get those. Um, they were a really good price. And then they're even better if they're still available. Okay. So I'm feeling good so far. I've got my eyeliner on, but I'm going to show you one more trick with my angle brush. Oh, or I'm going to do a different brush altogether. No, here's, here it is. Here she is. Here's my angle brush. So I've got a lot of high definition color going on here. Let's go, let's add the cinnabar color and we're going to smoke it out. Let me just say, when I did this yesterday to demonstrate the look, I was like, whoa, I would have not done that that way, but it's amazing. So I'm going to just add a tiny bit of cinnabar right here. And I'm doing my crease. I'm doing my um, cut crease in the middle on the top, which is a little bit more on trend right now. And you can see how when I blend this all together, how this is just really lovely and creating this very desert Arizona. I'm getting very Sedona, Arizona vibes from the color palette. Oh yeah, look at that. Ooh. Okay, so let's get in, let's get in here and get to business. Okay, so I'm gonna continue to add the color in different places and depending on exactly what kind of a look you wanna get, whether you want a really graphic look or whether you want a more natural brown autumn kind of a look, whether you're going what, whether you're going 70s or 80s, um, I feel like you can really get that. You can really get there with these colors. And because even though they are bright, because they read neutral, even with a lot of it on, it's not going to be like your blues or your magentas or anything like that, or even purple, where people are going to be like, wow, that's a lot of makeup. They're going to be like, whoa, you look so beautiful. It's colors found in nature. Um, so I am, I am vibing hard on this. Uh, we've been, like I have said before, we are living in our little vacation condo right now as we transition and find out where we want to live and our stuff arrives. So I've been spending a lot of time with my teenage daughter. So my apologies or um, am I brilliant for using teenage slang words? But we are it's definitely a vibe in here. We are going to be so close by the end of the summer, let me just say. Okay. Ooh, look at her. Look at her. Now, I also did do a little bit of my... You can tell that I need to do more under eye corrector. And I'm definitely going to need to do a video all about, like, under eye bags and under eye skincare because I, yeah, I'm definitely feeling it. I'm looking at, I'm loving the lifestyle, but it has been June, May was a whole year. June was a whole year. So I'm looking forward to July just being a month. I don't know. That might be too much to ask, but I'm loving the look. Let's do some cheeks. So I've got my angled cheek brush and I'm going to use, I'm going to use all three of these cheek colors because they're just gorgeous. So I'm going to start with my pop of color on the apples of my, well, actually I think I'm going to do the top and into the top of my cheekbone with this hot coral. And I'm just, you can see how, even though it's a really bright tone, I'm just using a tiny, tiny bit. You can always put it on the back of your hand to blend it out. Okay. 
Ta-da. Okay, now we're going to do, as a highlight, I'm going to do this juicy peach right on the apples of my cheek and next to my nose. I'm going to blend that. We got a lot of coral. There's lots of coral happening. And then I'm going to use, as more as my contour, I'm going to use my golden copper as sort of a contour slash blush. If you are not comfortable with coral, I definitely recommend golden copper for you. It's very warm and it's going to be like a bronzer. We don't have a bronzer in stock right now, but this is going to be your best bet. So here we go. I'm very peachy. I'm loving all of this. This is my vibe for sure. Now let's turn it up a notch with red. So I've got on a nice coral lip and this lip is appropriate for all skin types, appropriate for all experience levels, but I love a little drama. And that's the only thing I've been missing in my new color palette make under is the drama. So when Lori suggested using one of my perennial favorite lips colors, and you can tell I've been using it because, wait, this is the wrong one. This is red stiletto that I use for my under eyes. So that's not the right one. Um, I had to keep it. So if you haven't seen the red lipstick trick already, I'll make sure to redo that video as well. I'll put that out again because you use the red lipstick under your under eyes and you put a little bit of concealer and foundation over the top and it helps everything be set and ready. Uh, what I was looking for is for Poppy Please, which this is a coral red. This is a great tone and I'm going to just put it over the top of my coral confetti. Mm, this has been my daily driver pretty much the whole time we've been traveling because I knew I was going to be doing these videos, so I grabbed one for myself. But let me say, the drama. So I've got the right amount of drama here. I've got red. I've got a bold color. In fact, this paired with the red lip liner, the waterproof red lip liner, is just next level beautiful. And you've got, you've got to try that out, especially if you want... If you want to do a really natural look and you want to do, but you need a little bit of 